Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Claudia Novaki, and close to the microphone, please. Ah, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Good morning. So my name is Claudia Novaki, and I'm presenting Yoda, which stands for Your Earth Observation Data Access, and mm -hmm. is an um, open source Python tool developed by the Geo Department at Teovin. Uh, as you can see on this map, um, the um, uh, current set of tools uh, being able to deal with uh, geospatial raster or Earth observation data is quite extensive. Um, so on the left side, uh, we have some rudimentary uh, packages um, which deal uh, with uh, file-based access uh, like GDAL or NetCDF4, uh, which works quite well in terms of single file access or data sets. Uh, but not in terms of uh, homogeneous access across uh, different data collections. Uh, on the right side, uh, we have some higher level data, uh, data cube tools, um, which either rely on some packages on the left side um, or uh, implement their own software or data architecture um, to enable um, user-friendly, performant, and multi-file access to predefined data collections. Um, however, those data cube tools, um, uh, however, those data, those, uh, data cube tools, um, um, those data cube tools, uh, sorry, however, those uh, data cube tools um, um, are a black box, like the Google Earth engine, um, um, or they um, introduce uh, stringent uh, dependencies on databases or servers which are needed to run in the background. Um, um, Yoda instead um, cherry picks uh, from both sides um, by offering a flexible and transparent um, access to file-based data cubes um, and still maintaining a close relation to files on disk. Um, and prerequisite are only two things a Python environment, and files on disk. So how does Yoda actually work? Um, so Yoda relies on several in-house developed software packages, which are wrapping around the basic packages you've seen before. Um, so on the bottom, we have Geospate, uh, which defines uh, some basic uh, geometries and tiles and how they relate to each other. Uh, on top of Geospate, uh, you have Veranda, um, which unites those abstract geometries with um, actual I.O. classes um, to deal with uh, all kinds of data formats. Uh, and finally, um, um, on top, uh, we have Yoda, which adds some dimensional context um, by interpreting file names with the help of GeoPathFinder um, or by um, extracting metadata information uh, from the files. With uh, this setup, Yoda accepts um, either data sets or files uh, uh, as input to initialize uh, its data cube classes. Um, and then those data cube classes can be used to spatially filter the data or um, to filter the data by the predefined dimensions. And in the end, you can write or read the data to different uh, data formats. So if you want to dive in the world of Yoda, um, please check out the documentation and read the docs. Um, please feel free to contribute at GitHub or check out um, some examples uh, on the images we provide at Docker Hub. And if you don't get the QR codes, I also have some handouts here if you're interested. Thank you. Thank you, Claudio.